Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm just uh, asking people, ma'am, what do you think of uh, Whole Foods banning their employees from wearing the poppy? I mean, I just see this as a sign of respect for the war veterans, for those who gave their lives. Yes, definitely it is. Like, uh, I disagree totally. It's, it's, it's sad, honestly. Did not expect that. We didn't expect it either, and uh, we're just wondering if there's going to be a public backlash that makes them do the right thing and reverse their policy. You know what? That's interesting. Why do you require the, re the wearing of masks, but you're not allowing your employees to wear poppies? I'm not talking to you about that. I'm talking about you're in my store and you're in my store and making my okay. team members not safe. Sir, we're just outside Whole Foods. We're asking people what they think of their policy in which they are forbidding their employees to wear the poppy. Uh, very disappointed. I actually uh, live closer to Whole Foods and often shop here, but today I chose not to uh, shop here because of that reason. David Menzies for Rebel News here at Whole Foods in Toronto. Well, folks, it's almost unbelievable. I mean, how bad can the year 2020 get? Here we are, less than one week away from Remembrance Day, in which we honor all those who lost their lives in the various wars. And Whole Foods has announced that it is forbidding its staff from wearing the poppy. But why is this? What well, what is the problem with someone showing their respect for those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and for those veterans that are still amongst us today? I mean, it is like a slap in the face. Uh, we did reach out to Whole Foods, by the way, and um, here is what a spokesperson did say. Quote, Whole Foods Market honors the men and women who have and continue to bravely serve their country. We support Remembrance Day in all of our Canadian stores by observing a moment of silence on November 11th and by donating to the Legion's Poppy Campaign. With the exception of those items required by law, our dress code policy prohibits any additions to our standard uniform, end quote. So it just seems to be that they are banning the poppy out of having a policy on uniforms in which all the uniforms must be the same. But why is that? What is the ostensible reason for not allowing employees to wear this little red reminder of those who served and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. So I reached out again, I wanted to ask them the ostensible policy reason, and I also wanted to ask, wouldn't their uniform policy make reasonable accommodation, say for Sikhs who want to wear turbans, for Jews who want to wear kippahs? And again, the spokesperson got back to me and this is what they said, quote, your question was related directly to adding a pin to the existing uniform, which is what our statement addresses. I don't think it's relevant to this story, but yes, of course, our dress is inclusive of team members who have specific dress requirements or are part of any protected categories under federal, state, or local law. The purpose of having an aligned dress code policy across all of our stores is to ensure the expectations for dress are clear and easy to follow in any store while keeping our focus on operational safety and customer service. What's very important to note, and I hope you will, is that our stores have and continue to honor Remembrance Day and to support the Legion's Poppy campaign, end quote. So again, folks, it's, um, I still can't connect the dots how an employee uh, wearing the red poppy would this would be some kind of um, wardrobe malfunction, if you will, in terms of the Whole Foods uniform. And by the way, if you want a little um, background as to Whole Foods is, well, this company was actually purchased by Amazon back in 2017. Uh, Amazon, of course, is owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos. And the company was purchased for $13.4 billion. And of course, this is the same Mr. Bezos, who um, is very China friendly, presumably for the market opportunities that exist there. And I see, I think I have somebody at Whole Foods pointing at me. How you doing, man? Uh,
Oh, we can't do it inside. The, is, is that part of the Whole Foods policy? You know what we're doing? I'm, I'm not going to talk about it with you, but you know how to oh, you can't do it on public. This is, this is private property. Okay? We, we made a big donation to the Legion, and we'd like to hand them out to nice ladies that, like you that, okay. need, you know. But I need to not do this stuff like this in the store. It's a private property. Okay. You can totally do it outside, but you can't do it inside the store. I'm really sorry. Oh, can somebody come outside with me and uh, interview me? If oh, you no. would like to do something outside the store, you can do it, but we're not doing it inside the store. Oh, okay. Because I was hoping to um, interview customers of Whole Foods. Not inside the store. What do you think of the poppy ban? I'm talking about it with you. You know, you need to go outside the store to do stuff like this. Okay, I'm really sorry. Don't you think it's disrespectful to the veterans? I can't really discuss that with you on television. I need you to go outside. Okay. okay. Well, um, she's not interested in uh, talking, and so we'll um, make our exit uh, to wherever the exit is. Um, that way. Would, would any of your colleagues like to come on camera? Or, no, I'm really sorry. That's okay, not how it works. Okay. You know, I got a whole pocket full of poppies. I'd love to give them out to your coworkers. Or can I give a bunch to you? Or Okay, then. I hope you wear it. I know it's a little civil disobedience because of Jeff Bezos not wanting it to wear. So um, we're being kicked out, which is um, not so bad, really, because I'm looking at the prices here at Whole Foods. It's a beautiful store, but it's um, I don't have the kind of uh, paycheck to uh, go shopping here on a daily basis. Hey, how you doing? Just uh, asking people, ma'am, what do you think of uh, Whole Foods banning their employees from wearing the poppy? I mean, I just see this as a sign of respect for the war veterans, for those who gave their lives. Yes, definitely it is. Like, um, I disagree totally. It's, it's, it's sad, honestly. Did not expect that. We didn't expect it either, and uh, we're just wondering if there's going to be a public backlash that makes them do the right thing and reverse their policy. Of course, like we have, we have to do something about it. Coming in, yes. do you mind to talk to her? Oh yeah, I'm, I just have to buy my uh, my her, gum. The manager is coming, so oh, they're coming to talk to me. Oh, okay, excellent. Okay, my yeah. Manager right there. Oh, okay then. Oh, you're the manager. Oh, okay. I was just uh, I was on my way out. I was just paying for my gum. Um, but uh, are, are you able to do an interview? No, or? I'm not able to. Leave okay. Okay then. Yeah. All right. Well, we're we're on our way out, and I, I just didn't want to shoplift. No, it's kind of funny though, isn't it? I mean, one of the things the veterans fought for was our freedoms, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of the press. Uh, granted, uh, Whole Foods is a private company, but it doesn't seem they're really keen on embracing those freedoms, and they've also taken the freedom away from their employees to wear a poppy. Now, if it's their choice. Yeah. Oh, that you know what? That's interesting. Why do you require the the wearing of masks, but you're not allowing your employees to wear poppies? I'm not talking to you about that. I'm talking about you're in my store and you're in my store yeah. and making my okay. team members not safe. Everyone that comes in the store has to wear a mask. And you're well, okay. And talking. Well, I've actually got an exemption, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you're masked, there's no problem, right? So. It's not masks. Okay. He's a, he's got an exemption too. He's actually got a badge there. Uh, but, well, yeah, I was... People that are not asking to be filmed as well, so please, if you could keep... Okay, all right, then. Well, we're, we're being filmed right now with all your cameras here, right, ma'am? Or... By the way, ma'am, I want to give you this. I know you're not allowed to wear it in the office, but maybe you can wear it outside. It's a poppy to remember our, our war dead. Thank you so much. You have a nice weekend. Okay, bye-bye. I see you got your poppy on. Good for you. Sir, we're just outside Whole Foods. We're asking people what they think of their policy in which they are forbidding their employees to wear the poppy. Uh, very disappointed. I actually uh, live closer to Whole Foods and often shop here, but today I chose not to uh, shop here because of that reason. I don't understand their views. Um, I, can, I can understand if it was like a swastika like I would that we would be all in agreement that that should be banned because that was pure hatred but the poppy was just a remembrance of of the veterans that's all it is yeah and, and you know what they're so keen about uniforms I shudder to think if the greatest generation did not succeed in World War II if we had people in uniforms with swastikas on what Canada would be like today uh, we would not have the freedom to sit on the bench out here and enjoying the beautiful sunshine and having this expression of voice. I don't think it's a great idea, but uh, I was actually speaking to a friend about it and they said that the, potentially the idea they have, why they did it, is because maybe the pin would slip off and into the food or something. 
You know what? Uh, I could see that being a concern if you're in the food business, but the Legion also um, sells stickers. I might even have one on me, but um, so it takes away. Yeah, here we are. You want one? You can have one there, sir. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks. So there you go. No pin, no muss, no fuss. It's not going to ruin your nice windbreaker. Right. So what would be the problem with that? There wouldn't be a problem in my opinion then. They're forbidding their employees to wear poppies. Yes. That sounds uh, outrageous. Like, I mean, the poppy, I, from what I understand, I mean, because we were taught in school that it's a, uh, it's Remembrance Day. It's it's acknowledging the veterans. And I personally have been back in Belgium there to to the big hall there in uh, Flanders Fields. I saw it all. Like, that was some serious history that we're acknowledging and giving sort of compassion towards, no? By wearing this? Well, yeah, I, I can't imagine this being offensive to anyone. I don't think it's a political statement Wh wherever you are on the political spectrum left right or center you, you know you respect the war dead or you should you respect what the veterans have sacrificed um why won't uh, whole foods allow their employees to show that respect visibly that's weird man and when you say political that's that's a, that's the question right now it seems everything's being so distorted politically there's there's this left right black white divide always constantly trying to trying to create the polarity that's creating the dissonance and the you know the inner conflict of us not being able to see the coherence to see with which what's going on how the powers that be you know are still somehow being because they should be the powers that were but as far as whole foods we think of whole foods as like yeah it's the, it's the leading edge of like you know the food and for them to not be like that's weird man but you know what i think you might be onto something because whole foods three years ago i don't know if you know about this they were purchased by amazon amazon owned by jeff bezos multi-billionaire friendly to china I, yeah. I didn't know that yeah so maybe that has something to do with it oh no not maybe dude like there you go well folks let me tell you something we filmed our original closing right outside of Whole Foods and it was really a lament about this ludicrous anti-poppy policy and it was also about a call to action to have you go to a website called protectourpoppies.com. We were going to amass several thousand signatures, no doubt, and I was going to deliver it to the Whole Foods to make them reconsider. But if you can imagine, by the time my cameraman Mocha and I got back to Rebel News World Headquarters, ho ho! Amazon had changed its mind. Yes, its little subsidiary, Whole Foods, will indeed allow its Canadian employees to wear those poppies. So kudos to Whole Foods for making the right decision. And by the way, for the brainiacs who are against this anti-poppy policy at Whole Foods, you might want to look into a little phrase we Canadians say around November 11th. It goes like this lest we forget. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com if you're able to make a donation. Sometimes we have bodyguards to pay, sometimes it's legal fees, but it's worth it when it comes to bringing you the other side of the story.